So Krishna speak, speaking to the gopis on the level of Vaidhi Sadhana, and I took it to the next level, Raghunaga Sadhana. So the, this, um, let's see what the commentator, commentary is here. Krishna Chakravarti Thakur, he's explaining this. And the gopis reply to this where he says, Krishna's telling them, you should go home and hear and chant about me, worship my deity form, and uh, you'll get you won't get the you'll get you won't get the same result as achieved. The same result is not achieved by mere physical proximity. So please go home to your home, back to your homes. <laughs> it's very interesting because <laughs> what Krishna is saying in another way around, because he, he's saying, pratiyata tato grihan. Go back, pratiyata, tato grihan. Go back to your griha, go back to your house. And you worship deities and do vaidhi sadhana. You won't get the same result. That's a fact. If you do vaidhi sadhana, you go to Vaikuntha. <laughs> you, if the gopis follow Krishna on the first two lines and go home and do simply worship with Murti and hear and chant, they'll go to Vaikuntha. This, this is what will happen by following Bhakti Yoga. But if you stay with me, directly in association of a Brajvasi, like Krishna, like Radharani, you stay continually in association with Radharani, close proximity to Radharani. He says, Sani Nike, Sani, Sa, San, Ni, Karshan. Karshan means attraction. Karshan, Krishna, Krishna. Pulling, pulling, attracting, drawing. Drawing near, pulling near, attracting near. And San means everything. Samyak, San Karshan, San Kirtan, San Karshan, complete attraction, complete bondage, com complete cementing. Then Sani Karshan means Ni means excessively bound and attached and attracted. So he said, you're, sta you're staying, and it's translated Sani sa Karshana by physical proximity. Actually, Sani Karshana means Samprayog. Samprayog means complete union. Samprayog. A complete and special union. Sam, complete, prakrishtarena, a specialized and yoga union. So now that same meaning is in san nikarshena. He's saying, go home and you'll attain me. You'll attain me by going home. But you stay with me because if you stay with me, I'm a Brijvasi. If you stay with me, I'm going to move here and there. You're going to follow me. And if you follow a Brijvasi, do you know where you go? You go to Vrindavan. You go to Goloka Vrindavan. And if you follow a Brijvasi who is known as Sri Krishna, you'll develop Shringha Rati, Madhurya Rati for me. Especially if you're in Prakriti Bhav and a feminine form like you are with Sumadhyama, with very beautiful thin waist, which Krishna indicated earlier. So he said, you go home and worship deities. You won't get the same result if you stay here and embrace me. If you go home and look at my picture on the wall, you won't get the same result if you stay here and dance with me and embrace me. I don't think so. Do you think so? No. So Krishna is quite correct what he's saying. Na tata sani karshena. You won't get the same result. Na tata. Because they've already chanted all they need to chant. They've already did all the meditation they need to do. They've already did all the puja and archimurti puja they need to do. They've already did all the hearing about Krishna that they need to do. Now what they need to do? Enter the Leela with Krishna, Madhurya Leela, the Ras Leela, the Ras Mandala, and dance the night away in a celebration of joy and love and Sringarati. <laughs>